I V M. You're listening to Wordy Word Pecker, extraordinary stories of ordinary words with Rachel Lopez. Ugh, I hate the word we're discussing this time. I can't even make sense of it. It pops up on every other food review and yet I've never heard it spoken aloud. It literally means nothing. And it's the laziest term to describe good food. We're talking about scrumptious. Even historians hate it. Mostly because they don't know where it comes from. Dictionaries will typically say origin unknown or origin uncertain. Scrumptious. Did we get it from the Germans? Is it Latin? Is it a love child of the two? We don't know. We know only that it was born in America in the 1830s. This was a time when so many cultures from Europe were coming together and they were intermingling and the languages and the words that were mixing around were leaving a trail of new words. So, scrumptious sounds like sumptuous. I'll give you that. And that word comes directly from the Latin sumptuosus, which meant very costly, very expensive, very lavish, very wasteful. Sumptuous gives a sense that you were the kind of person who bathed in milk and ironed their underwear. Scrumptious, however, is unrelated. By the 1920s, people had already started seeing it as an artificial cooked-up word. People first used it to mean scrupulous. You were a scrumptious person if you went to church, paid your debts and starched your underpants. But it eventually became a word to describe a stylish or handsome person. At some point, it even devolved to mean a miser. You were a scrumptious person if you didn't want to pay for anything. As a complete mystery, today, however, it means something appetizing or delicious, particularly as a treat. A good dal will never be scrumptious. But a brownie? It's always scrumptious, isn't it? It also calls to mind all the food words we hear that are just not helpful. Think about it. Delectable, luscious, tasty, tempting, yummy, ambrosial, mouth-watering, toothsome. They say nothing about what makes the food so good. The ingredients, the texture, the specific taste family. When you say a brownie is scrumptious, what do you mean? Do you mean it's sweeter? Do you mean it's softer? Do you mean it's richer? Do you mean you paid too much for it and now you need to justify it? Think about all these words the next time you're describing food. Sometimes they just aren't helpful at all. This was Wordy Word Pecker. If you liked this show, you can listen to other fantastic podcasts on the IVM Podcast app and on our website ivmpodcasts.com or wherever you get your podcasts from. Don't forget to follow IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. And you can reach out to me on Twitter at Greater Bombay and hit me up with your favorite words. Long, long ago, not in Bethlehem, but in a place nearby, there was a wonderful birth of a huge show, which I like to call Cyrus Says. A show that encapsulates everything in human history, from the first Homo sapien to the last Homo sapien, uh, who's traversed the entire world and then come back to India. This is a show which tells you everything about everything. If you want to know, avoid Google, come to us. It's called Cyrus Says. Get new episodes every Monday and Thursday on the IVM Podcast app, website, or wherever you get your podcasts from. It's simple as A, B. Oh God, what comes after that? Do you have a night routine? Well, everyone has one. And the to-do list usually looks like this. Brush your teeth, set that alarm, get into your pajamas and switch off those screens. But here's one more to add to that list. Tune into the Positively Unlimited podcast for a dose of positive action and tips on how to build powerful mindsets. Episodes out every Monday on the IVM Podcast app, ivmpodcast.com or wherever you tune into podcasts.